All right, welcome everybody. Happy Thursday. Um, my name is Marnie Hernandez. I've been with the company for seven years. We do these certificate workshops to learn how to sell, you know, be better travel agents, sell to our clients, right? Be more knowledgeable. Um, besides that, we get um, special invites, webinars, lunch and learns, familiarization trips. So the perks are amazing. Um, so again, it's twofold. You know, we help uh, sell to our clients, help our partners, and then um, we get um, some perks out of the deal also. So um, we do these together. Uh, so again, I highly recommend completing them if you have to leave for any reason. Uh, be sure to complete it because you want to get your certificate. You want to be able to, uh, you know, post it on social media, letting people know, hey, who wants to go to Japan? I now have all the ins and outs of what to do, what to see, et cetera. Contact me today, right? Okay. Um, so definitely stay plugged in with us. Um, again, uh, it's uh, Japan that we're working on today. So you're going to get here. Enter now, okay? Uh, Japan's endless opportunities for discovery. Do we have any brand new agents today joining us for the first time? Yes. Okay. Welcome. So what I don't know I don't know how to get to these um uh, to these links. Okay, all you do is click on the link that I put in the chat box. Okay. You're going to go in and click register. Okay? okay. Uh whenever you register, always remember the agency will always be Archer Travel. The agent will always be your information. Only fill out right now what, what is required. There's usually asterisks. Some of the stuff is not required, but go ahead and get it filled out. Once you get registered, then you can click on Japan and then get to where we're at. So again, I'll put that link in here. Um, I, did, I, didn't, I didn't see what you clicked on after the first page. Okay, so you can find Japan. Um, you can click on this link in the chat box. That should okay. take you right into Japan. Let me know. And then you should be here where it says Japan, enter now. No. I, I'm, I'm on my phone and on my computer. So my phone is. Uh... Okay, because I just clicked on it and it took me here. So as long as you're registered. So again, you got to go Ooh. here to register first. I registered. I, I see that. I did okay. that. And then, and then, clicked, and and then, then you then... should be able to click on that second one and it should take you here. Because this is where I'm at uh -huh. right here. No. Otherwise, if you're, otherwise, if you're here, just go up here to course catalog and then you can look for Japan. Okay, um, that's what I'll do. Okay. Yeah. Look under here for Japan then. Japan. Yeah. So I don't know if it's in alphabetical order. Let's see. Number two. Yes. It's in alphabetical order. So it's on page two at the bottom right. Okay, let's see. Okay, I see it now. Okay, okay. get started. Yep. Well, um, yeah, we're yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start reading this. So again, um, if you mm -hmm. guys have questions, need help, make sure in the chat box put to everyone because we got a lot of amazing agents here that help you know each other. Okay, because I'm gonna start reading because again, um, you know, we're already ten minutes in, so uh, sometimes they're they're very long, sometimes they're short. I don't know. I know this one is is about four courses, so I'm gonna go ahead and start reading. Um, just follow along as as I said. You know, we do a split screen, or somebody follows along on their phone and does the test online. But you want to make sure you you do it with us because you want to complete the course. Okay. All right, so learn how to sell endless discoveries. Japan's endless opportunities for discovery include both modern and ancient treasures, as well as stunning natural landscapes with a beauty all their own. Learn about Japan's historic monuments, castles, shrines, museums, colorful festivals, unique cultural entertainment, dining and shopping experiences, and more. Important note, the JTS e-learning program is available for North American, South American travel agents only. We regret that this program is not open to students who are not professional travel agents. Japan Specialist General Course, all you need to do is study three chapters, pass three exams, which are automatically scored. Once you complete the Japan Travel General Course, you will gain access to the master's level option. Japan Travel Specialist and Advanced Master's Course, 
Uh, the course offers advanced certification upon successful completion of one chapter and one exam. Here you will receive the resources and insights you need to map out the best Japan vacation options suited to particular needs and special interests of each client. For more information, you can, um, on the benefits, contact Japan National Tourism Organization here at this email. Enter now, okay? Graduate benefits, again, once you complete all the courses, certificate acknowledging you as a graduate, which is what I said, and you can post that now, right? Um, if you complete both courses, a Graduate Japan uh, Specialist Advanced Master course, you get CEU credits from the Travel Institute here, okay? Eligibility for continuing ed credits and how to receive these credits. And for more information, contact here. You're going to learn the location of Japan's main cities and regions accompanied by overviews of the most interesting attractions, festivals, and foods. How best to encounter traditional Japanese customs and culture events, where to enjoy a variety of outdoor activities and take best take in natural scenery. Japan's wide range of accommodations, Western style hotels to Ryakons and Minshukas. Again, I apologize ahead of time for mispronunciation. And then great side shit. Side trips, side trips from Tokyo to attractions like Mount Fuji and UNESCO World Heritage Sites and much more. Okay. All right, so hit enter now. Um, so again, here's the master's course and general course, okay? Um, you'll learn the basics of Japan from its natural wonders and then whatever your client's special interests are. Uh, so um, I think let's go ahead and start with the general course, okay? So um, whatever your client's needs. So let's start with the general course. You guys are okay with that? All right, so as you see, there's four courses here. I actually have already taken them, but we'll go ahead and do this first. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on chapter one, travel specialist general course, chapter one. Everybody good? It's gonna pop up in a different window. Uh, no, okay. All right, so again, with these, you have to click on everything they have. So we have to watch the video, you have to click on their, their links, et cetera, to keep moving forward, okay? do like binders or folders on their desktop and stuff. So um, just so you know, some things you can click on and then save them in those folders or binders, okay, uh, to refer back to later. All right, so starting at chapter one, Endless Discovery. Um, yeah, Melissa, so here's the link um, in the chat box. All right, so as the official tourism board of Japan, Japan National Tourism Organization, JNTO, is involved in a wide range of pro promotional activities encouraging international travelers to visit Japan. JNTO is ready to offer the latest travel information and support for you to sell Japan products effectively. In this course, you'll learn how to communicate all the attractions that are a perfect match for your client's dream vacations for years to come. With your help, JNTO hopes to send more U.S. visitors to Japan. Japan. No matter what motivates your clients to travel, an interest in history, cutting edge technology, cuisine, ancient or contemporary architecture, nature, shopping, unique cultural pursuits, you name it, Japan has it all. From vibrant metropolises to rural, rural, rural 
<laughs> sorry, retreats from tropical beaches to lofty mountain peaks. From world-class hotels to traditional Japanese inns, Japan offers a wide range of destinations, diversions um, that appeal to both novice and seasoned travelers. Select thumbnail to view. Okay, so here's different things you can click on. Cuisine, oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. I was supposed to go to Japan and my nine to five made me cancel it two weeks before I was supposed to go. I was so mad. And needless to say, a week, year later, I worked my butt off for my business and was able to fire my boss and quit the insurance industry and been doing this full time since. So uh, kind of kicked me in the butt and said, OK, let's do this. Right. All right. Natural beauty all its own. Who can forget the thrill of seeing Mount Fuji for the first time? It's perfect cone-shaped sym symmetry rising majestically against a blue sky. Japan is famous for its shimmering cherry blossoms in the spring. So ethereal, um, it's heavens on earth. But equally stunning are its irises, wisteria, hydrangea, and many other blossoming plants. Again, I apologize. And trees, not to mention its maples, which blaze a fiery red across the country in autumn. Mountains beckon uh, with hiking trails in summer, top-rated skiing in winter. Japan has hosted the Winter Olympics twice, while Japan's hot springs in um, on or onsen in Japan in Japanese, among the most numerous and varied in the world, have been soothing aches and pains for more than one thousand years. Treasures of the past, Japan's history is evident at every turn, whether it's vener venerable Buddhist temple or Shinto shrine, a museum housing samurai swords or intricately detailed ceramics, or one of Japan's many festivals with its profusion of costumes, ancient rituals, throngs of joyous crowds. Feudal era castles will still rise from the massive stone foundations, while Japan's exquisite gardens, many of them former noble class retreats, are visual commentaries of what nature can achieve under generations of skilled master gardeners, experiencing the culture of centuries past. Two of Japanese most famous forms of entertainment, sumo, wrestling, and kabuki are like time castles from the country's past. So little have they changed over the centuries. Other cultural pursuits with strong historic ties include the country's unique forms of flower arrangements and tea ceremony. But for visitors, nothing conveys Japan's past better than the country's many tradition inns, renowned for their impeccable service, regional cuisine, and refined beauty. Modern Japan, needless to say, Japan is also a modern country in every sense of the word. From its super efficient Shinkansen bullet trains to its cloud tickling, um, tickling skyscrapers, many of them housing sleek world-class hotels with unparalleled service and astonishing views. Department stores are like microchisms of Japan itself with everything from vast food uh, emporiums and fashions by the world's leading designers to household items unique to Japan and traditional crafts. Indeed, Japan is a shopper's delight, whether it's an artisan shops that have been passed down from generation to generation or stores selling the latest in technology, technical gadgetry. Tasteful Japan, lovers of fine cuisine will revel in Japan's varied styles of cooking from tempura, tempura sushi, and tapanyaki. To the Feast of All Feasts, Kaseki, a multi-course meal embodying the height of Japanese hospitality. What's more, each region of Japan has its own local specialties, which can range from seasonal mountain vegetables and other delicacies to locally caught seafood. Gourmets seeking cuisines from other countries will find many options in Japan as well. Uh, whether it's a Tony French, um, Tony French restaurant or one offering delectable Indian curries. Remember to tell your clients that no tipping is necessary in any situation, including restaurants and bars in Japan. Welcoming Japan. One of Japan's most compelling attributes is its people, who are legendary for their honesty and kindness to visitors. Vi virtually all visitors to Japan have stories of individuals who went out of their way to help, whether it's someone who walked blocks out of her way to del deliver lost tourists to their destination, or a diner who took it upon himself to translate a Japanese menu. Visitors can expect everyone from store clerks to taxi drivers to waiters to be honest, trustworthy, and hospitable. 
All right, so again, you have to click on each of these, geography, climate, and population. So the geography, it's located in the Far East. Japan is an archipelago of more than 6,800 islands, uh, stretching about 1,800 miles from northwest to southwest. Its latitudinal range is the same as Quebec, Canada, all the way to Key West, Florida. Its landmass is slightly smaller than the state of California or Sweden, with almost 75% of land consisting of mountains. Among the major islands are Honshu, the mainland, Hokkaido, Shikoku, uh, Kyushu, um, Okinawa. Honshu is the largest and most popular, it could be a test question, um, is home to Tokyo, Kyoto, and other major cities. This island is subdivided into five geographical regions, Tohoku, Kanto, Kanto, Chubu, Kansai, and Chogoku. Hokkaido is the north, is um, in the north is subarctic and boasts spectacular mountain scenery and wide open plains, while southern Kyushu is subtropical and is famous for its balmy weather, beaches, and hot spring resorts. Shikoku connected the main island, Honshu, via three bridges yet off the beaten path for most foreign tourists, is known for its many Buddhist temples and views of the Seto Inland Sea. Okinawa, Okinawa boasts nine World Heritage Sites, a strong crafts tradition in ceramics and textiles, lively contemporary music scene, and breathtaking empty beaches and old world market places. Okay, oops, sorry. Okay, close this and then go back to climate. <clears throat> Most of Japan's islands uh, lie in the temperate seasonal wind zone, similar to that of the east coast of the U.S., which means there are four distinct seasons. Spring lasts from March to May, and Japan's famous cherry blossoms bloom in March and April. During spring, numerous festivals throughout Japan celebrate the rebirth of nature. Tokyo's average temperature for these months range from 50 degrees in March to 61 in April and 69 in May. Summer lasts from June to August. Average temperatures in Tokyo range from 71 degrees in June to 78 degrees and July to 81 in August. Autumn from September to November is among the best time to visit Japan, particularly in Kyoto and more rural areas, as the forests here display glorious autumn colors. There are also are many chrysanthemum uh, shows in Japan at this time of year. Uh, popular maple viewing spots, uh, many autumn festivals. Average temperature in September, 76 degrees, 68 degrees in October, and 57 in November. Uh, winter from December to early March is marked by snow in several areas, especially in the northern part of Japan, where the skiing is superb. Tokyo, where the mean Winter temperature is about 40 degrees, doesn't get much snow. Southern Japan, especially Kyushu, enjoys generally mild warm weather. Average temperatures in Tokyo are 48 degrees in December, 41 in January, and 45 in February. All right, and the population there, Japan has a population of about 127 million residents. It's capital Tokyo, modern dynamic metropolis with about 13.5 million residents in the greater metro metropolitan area. Largest cities could be a test question. Yokohama, 3.7 million. Osaka, 2.7 million. Nagoya, 2.3 million. Sapporo, 1.9 million. And Kobe, 1.5 million. All right, next, airports. There are over 100 airports in Japan, Narita International Airport, Tokyo International Airport, Hananda Airport, Hanada, uh, Kansai International Airport, and Central Japan International Airport serve flights from the U.S. Services at these four major airports include money exchange counters that stay open until the last flight of the day, and tourist information centers that provide maps and brochures and can dispense advice ranging from how to best reach a hotel in Tokyo to what to see in Kyoto. Clients can even validate their Japan rail passes at JR counters in Narita International Airport, Haneda Airport, and Kansai International. Uh, Christopher, I see you raised your hand. Do you have a question? Yes, uh, Yeah, sort of. Um, I was just going to point out, uh, you need to advise your travel clients that they should be expected to travel, a to travel with a certain amount of cash on hand because many places in Japan, they will expect you to carry cash. 
Okay, perfect. Thank you. And and again, that's what I love about doing these as groups, guys, because people have either lived here or experienced it. So again, you get now personal um, information. So thank you so much. So again, share, share, guys. All right. So here's the Narita International Airport. Um, located 66 kilometers, 41 miles east of central Tokyo, the airport, which is divided into Terminal 1 and Terminal 2, is designed to ensure your clients a quick, convenient start to their travels. More information, this is what I was talking about, where you can click here. It'll take you out of the program. And, of course, this one shows up not done. But um, as you see, you can click and, and share more information. So those are, are good things to have to be able to um, – now, look, now I always get – kicked out when I do these. Um, so a lot of times people will save those and um, and keep them, oops, I'm sorry, um, keep them in their binders and stuff. So here, sorry guys, hold on. This always happens. I end up clicking out and then it pops me out. Okay, where is it? Let me just go back in. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Yes. Okay, there we go. All right, Tokyo International, known as Haneda Airport, and has served regular international flights from the fall of 2010. Located in the southern part of Tokyo, major downtown areas in Tokyo can be reached within 20 to 40 minutes by train or airport limousine. Again, you can click there for more information. Kansai International, Japan's second largest airport, located in the southeast Osaka Bay on man-made island, um, three miles off the coast and about 37 miles from uh, Shin Osaka station with its Shinkansen bullet train connections. Again, more information for your files. Central Japan International um, Airport, nicknamed Centra, Centra, opened in February 17, 2005, located on a man made island in Isle Bay, um, is the bay, uh, 22 miles south of Nagoya City, IT pre Prefecture. <laughs> All right. International air service following carriers are among those flying from U.S. to Japan. So you have Japan Airlines, ANA, American, Delta, Hawaiian, United, China Air, Korean Air, Singapore Airlines. Flight duration. So from New York to Tokyo, 13 hours, 50 minutes. Chicago, 12 hours, 55 minutes. And Los Angeles, 11 hours, 30 minutes. So we're quicker to go from L.A., okay, which is good because I'm in Las Vegas. All right, how about the Japan Rail Pass? Client who wishes to travel to several cities in Japan can benefit greatly with the nationwide Japan Rail Pass. Japan Rail Pass offers overseas visitors with an economical, flexible, simple to use advantage over regular tickets, allowing unlimited travel on a vast network of JR trains and some buses throughout Japan. For more information um, on the Japan Rail Pass, various types of regional rail passes, click here again, that will be um, Haneda, ha Haneda, thank you. <laughs> um, so again, you can um, click there for more information. Accommodations, where are we going to put our guests, okay? Japan offers a wide selection of accommodations, both Western style Japanese. Type of accommodations vary widely in terms of style and price. Clients can choose to stay in the familiar comforts of a Western style hotel or enjoy the comfort and personal attention of Ryokan and Japanese style inn. Throughout Japan, most accommodation facilities have a number of staff who can communicate in English. So you want to do Western style hotels, all of Japanese um, cities have many Western style hotels with famous name chains, well represented in all larger cities. These hotels will generally have Western restaurants, high quality Japanese restaurants. Some hotels also have a few Japanese style rooms, as well as beautifully landscaped gardens on the grounds. Again, more information there. Ryokan uh, embodies the very essence of Japan, should be the accommodation of choice for clients who wish to personally experience the uniqueness of Japan, the architecture, lifestyle, nature, traditions, and culture. Staying at a Japanese ryokan uh, offers the opportunity to enjoy the spirit of Japanese hospitality and graceful customs that have been passed down over many generations. Most ryokan, and again, I hope that's right, um, have beautifully designed a communal bath which is separate from sex bathing. Most have an in-room bath as well. In addition, many ryokan, 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 thank you, ryokan, also have an open air bath called Rotenboro. 
Uh, guest rooms with a private open air bath attached. The room charge will include two meals, invariably an evening feast of delicious locally found ingredients and breakfast. Uh, uh, meals are generally served by the maid in the guest room. After the evening meal, the maid will return and clear your client's table and then lie out his or her futon. Typical lounging wear of Ryokan a cotton robe called yukada is also provided. Sounds like fun, huh, guys? All right. And um, ro Rotenburu. Thank you. Minshuku. Uh, budget travelers have many options when it comes to accommodations. For those who wish to experience affordable Japanese-style lodging, Minshuku is a great way to go. Small, family-run guest houses located primarily in tourist resorts and countryside, they offer the chance to sleep Japanese-style on futon mattresses spread on the floor. Many yeah. provide... Oops, hold on. Yeah. Mute. Sorry, guys. Many provide breakfast and dinner as well, including local cuisine, usually served in communal dining room. Note that most do not have rooms with private bathroom, but rather public shared bathrooms. Since uh, Min Minshuki, Minshuko, the Japanese version of bed and breakfast, cater largely to Japanese travelers, they're often great places to meet the Japanese. All right, tourist support. So again, here's some links for you guys to help out. Most signage for public transportation is available in numerous languages. Tourist information centers are located throughout Japan, offer information to foreign visitors. Systemized Goodwill Guide Group, comprising entirely volunteers, donate their time to guide visitors around the city free of charge. The visitor pays their travel expenses, admission fees, and meals. Reservations for a guide must be made in advance through SGG, so that's a good thing. Again, you can click here and get that information. Professional guides and, inter guides and interpreters. Licensed guides in various languages can be hired through Japan Guide Association and Japan Federation and Certified Guides. Japan's buses and trains have special seats for the elderly people with disabilities. In addition, most large trains and subway stations are equipped with elevators or escalators. An increasing number of hotels offer wheelchair accessible rooms. For more information, you can go to Japan Accessible Tourism Center or Tokyo Travel Tips for wheelchair users. And we are now done with chapter one. So everybody ready? Let's take the exam. Again, guys, make sure everybody takes the exam with us because you want to keep moving forward. Does everybody have this same question? A lot of times they may be out of order. So is everybody on this same question? Yes. Okay, perfect. Stretching about 1,800 miles from northwest to Japan or to southwest, Japan is slightly smaller than which state in the U.S.? The California? Yep, that's what California. I thought. The capital of Japan is Tokyo with about 13.5 million residents. True or false? It's true. Oh. I screen captured these screens. Okay. They're, they're true. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The climate of Japan most closely resembles what region of U.S.? The East Coast, right? They have the four seasons. Japan Rail Pass offers overseas visitors unlimited access to trains and buses operated by Japan Railroads throughout Japan. Wow. True? Did you guys say true? I think it's true. Everybody agree? Yes. Yeah. Which airports yeah. serve flights from the U.S.? Narita, Tokyo, Kansai, Central Japan. Is that all of them? I think so. We'll try it. Yeah. There are daily nonstop flights from U.S. to Japan. Among the following, which one shows the correct flight time to Tokyo? Ooh, I think it was this one, right? It was this, well, it says all the above. No, it could be, wasn't it? Is it all the above? I know, I mean... The, the, yeah, I think, I think it's all the above. I mean, they're rounding these two off. Let's see. I have yeah, a screen yeah, cause, yeah, cause JFK. Yeah, cause I looked this up previously. Okay. And I know uh, JFK is definitely at least fourteen hours. Okay. Yeah. Uniquely oh, Japanese yeah. style in Ryo right Ryokan Yokan usually offers which of the following: carefully prepared meal, dinner, and breakfast, comfort and personal attention in traditional style, and beautifully designed. 
communal bath and in room bath. I think that's all the above. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, <laughs> Thank you, Christopher. <laughs> All right, what is suggested tip at restaurants to taxi drivers in Japan? No tipping is necessary. No tipping. Right. Yay, 100%. Yay. Everybody pass? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. All yes. right. Let's move forward. So we've completed now uh, chapter one. We're going to go ahead and move on to chapter two. Major destinations. So pretty cool, huh? Where are you? So uh, we're, on, we're on general courses now, chapter two. Okay, I got you. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. All right, everybody ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, Kanto region, Tokyo and vicinity. Tokyo, along with Osaka, Tokyo serves as Japan's major gate getaway uh, for gateway for overseas visitors. Also serves as the nation's transportation hub with easy connections via plane, train, and bus to the rest of the country. As the nation's capital and center for administration, education, and finance, Tokyo is highly developed metropolis with modern high rises and an extensive network of urban trains and subways crisscrossing the city. But more than that, Tokyo evokes the best of the East and West, a glorious mingling of the unique grandeur of Japan's past with all the advances of today. Kanto region, Tokyo vicinity, Ginza, Ginza, located in Chuoku, is one of the most famous downtowns of Japan. The streets are lined with neon signs, exclusive department stores and boutiques, bars and restaurants. The area also is home to more than 400 art galleries. Uh, located in Tayato-ku, along with the west bank of the Sumida-gawa River, Asakusa once thrived as a temple town for Sensoji Temple. The area continues to have an old traditional feel and is famous for the Kamanari Mon Gate with its large red um, lantern. It's this a uh, juxtaposition of the old and new that gives Tokyo its slightly exotic, slightly familiar atmosphere. All right, side trips from Tokyo. Clients with a day or two to spare should consider an excursion to the surrounding countryside. Nikko, Yokohama, Kamakura, Hakon, and Mount Fuji are all easily reached within a two-hour train ride or bus ride. Select a destination below to learn more. All right, so Nikko, the Nikko Kunagawa area is an easy day side trip uh, or overnight stay from Tokyo. Yet, and it is yet it is worlds away in terms of scenic beauty and historic architectural gems. Nestled in a forest of cedars in the village of Nikko, world famous for its sumptuous Nikko Tashashugo shrine. Final resting place of powerful shogun and one of Japan's most visited shrines, together with nearby Futurasan Shrine and Renaji Temple. It was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1999, and clients also will be drawn to the fabulous sites of Kigan Falls and Lake Shuzenji. Uh, Yokohama Kamakura. Uh, conveniently located less than an hour from Tokyo, Yokohama is the premier city for large-scale gatherings. Boasts an international conference center with capacity of 5,000. Kamakura, sometimes called the Kyoto of Eastern Japan, attracts visitors with its numerous temples, shrines, and other historical monuments, all within easy walking distance. The Great Buddha, 37 feet high, cool, is Kamakura's top attraction, largest, um, second largest bronze image in Japan. Hakon, uh, located in Fuji, Hakon Izu National Park, one of the most popular inland tourist resorts in Japan. Nestled between Mount Fuji and Izu Peninsula, it boasts forested mountains, um, deep glens, ravines, lakes, hot springs, and fantastic scenery. Spectacular sight of Lake Hon um, Ashinoko and Mount Fuji in the background is a symbol of Hakone. Hakone also boasts numerous historic attractions, including pagodas and stone images of Buddha, all designated important cultural properties. Your clients can easily explore 
Hakon using public transportation by mountain trains, buses, pleasure boats, and ropeways. And then Mount Fuji, uh, rising to the level of 12,388, is the highest mountain in Japan with its unrivaled magnificence and beautiful con conic shape. Mount Fuji also ha um, often has often been selected as a subject for paintings and literature in the world's famous symbol of Japan. All right, and now the Kansai region, Kyoto, Osaka, and vicinity. Kansai is considered the cradle of Japanese civilization since it was here in its early cap earliest capitals, shrines, and temples were constructed. As a result, the area is rich in historic sites and cultural attractions. Kyoto, significance is the annals um, of Japanese history cannot be overstated. Having served as Japan's capital twice for a total of more than 600 years, Kyoto is the historic center of the country, filled with temples, shrines, imperial villas, and other memorials to the nation's past. Kyoto um, exudes a graceful charm, reminiscent of the glory and splendor of Japan's ancient past. From its narrow residential streets lined with temples and traditional wooden homes, to its many craft stores that have been passed down for generations. There is no other city in Japan quite like it. Kyoto boasts an astounding 2,000 or more shrines and temples. Some temples are admired for their architectural integ integrity, others for their art treasures and priceless, priceless statues, and others still for their beautiful gardens. Approximately 20% of Japan's national treasures are in Kyoto. City also boasts the nation's greatest concentrations um, of craft artisans, producing highly refined art um, articles such as Nishinjin silk weaving, yuzen dyeing, Kiyomazu yaki ceramic ware, uh, Kyoto, uh, not Kyoto, Kyoto. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Again, I apologize. I'm not, I'm not the best in pronunciation. All right. Craftsman skills have been handed down through generations of families with a number of um, craft museums and shops uh, holding demonstrations of their work. Kaito um, is also renowned for its festivals, many of which have roots stretching back for centuries. The three grandest are Aoi Kalihak Festival in May, Gion Festival in July, be, be a test question, and Jidai Festival, Festival of Ages in October. Okay, so just keep those in mind. Nara, located south of Kyo, Kito, was the old capital of Japan, was the cradle of Japan's Kyoto. arts, crafts, huh? Arts, crafts, and literature. Kyoto. Kyoto. Okay, one more time. One more time. Kyoto. Kyoto. Okay, I'll Kyoto. try it. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll let you read it. All right. Clients are encouraged. Um, hold on. Uh, cradle. Uh, Buddhism first flourished here under the strong patronage of successful emperors. Clients are encouraged to visit Todaiji Temple, one of the largest wooden works of architectures in the world, which enshrines Japan's largest indoor Buddha and Horishi Temple in Ikaruga Town, the world's uh, oldest existing wooden structure. And then Osaka serves as a commercial industrial center for Western Japan, best of it uh, because of its extensive transportation network radiating from Osaka. It's a good base from which to explore Kyoto, <laughs> the Inland Sea. Again, I apologize, Shikoku and Kyoshu. Osaka has served as a port town, castle town, and commercial center for merchants. All of these influences still evident today. Osaka also is famous for its local cuisine. Omida has a gigantic stretch of underground mall that houses many restaurants, clothing shops, sundry goods stores, and the area of Dantabori, has a variety of gourmet restaurants, including expensive eateries located on both sides of the Dantabori Gawa River. Again, more information for your files. You can click there. It'll take you into another program. Um, Hokkaido, uh, nor Northern Island. Um, northernmost of Japan's four major islands has a mild summer climate graced by a number of national parks with vast virgin forests, 
mountain ranges, gorges, sparkling caldera, lakes, wildflowers, and wide open pastures. It is home to a variety of wildlife from Hokkaido brown bears to red crowned cranes. And while winters can be severe, cold weather doesn't deter those interested in skiing Hokkaido's many snowy peaks. Sapporo, the largest city on the island. Was that for Jacoby? Okay, sorry. Huh? Okay, um, sorry. A uh, popular variety of outdoor sports, skiing, hiking, rafting, and many hot springs. The area encompasses Mount Yotazan, which resembles Mount Fuji. Shratoko, uh, des designated as a World Heritage Site in 2005, considered to be the last pristine wilderness remaining in Japan. Again, more information, go ahead and click there. All right. So here again, really cool scenery. Beautiful, right? Look at that. Look at that. Very nice. Okay. Who's, who's hungry? Look. <laughs> All right, Toku region, Northern Honshu. Northern part of Japan's main island on Honshu is called Tohoku. Throughout the past century, Tohoku's rugged terrain, snowy winters isolated from the modernization that seized most of Japan, preserving its natural beauty and traditions. With abundant snow perfect for skiing, Tohoku boasts three national parks, nine quasi-national parks, and numerous hot spring spas, some large and popular and some rustic and unspoiled. Historic sites and unique tradition, folk, traditional folk dances, songs, festivals round out the region's many attractions. Three famous festivals held in August include Nabutu Matsuri um, in Amor Amori City, Tarabata Matsuri in Sendai City, and Kanto Matsuri in Akita City. Again, more information, click there. All right, select the destination, Nagoya. Castle Town with Nagoya Castle, still dominating its center. Also boasts one of Japan's most important Shinto shrines, Atsuta Jinju Shrine, and its Museum of Treasures that once belonged to Takugawa Clan, uh, Takugawa Art Museum, and other attractions. Nagoya is also one of Japan's leading industrial centers, the Toyota Commemorative Museum of Industrial and Techno Technology traces the development of Toyota through its early years as producer of tech textile machinery to its current use of the most updated automobile assembly equipment. Takayama is the northern part of Gifu per Prefecture, it is a castle town at the foot of Takabayama Castle. Built in the 16th century, it is a town of old wooden houses standing side by side. Visitors are delighted by its lineal beauty, highlighted by projecting lattice, lattice and eaves of uniform height. Takayama Matsuri Festival, believed to have begun in the 16th to 17th century, is one of the three largest, most beautiful festivals in Japan. And then Kanazawa, Center of the Economy, Commerce, and Culture for Haruku region. Kanazawa has been a prosperous castle town for about 470 years. At the center of the city lies the Karokuan Garden, one of three most famous gardens in Japan, along with Karokuan Garden in Mito and Karokuan Garden in Okayama. All right. Shikoku. One of Japan's four principal islands, Shikoku has many attractions, including the scenic Sito Inland Sea Coast, forming part of Sito Inland Sea National Park, Dogo Onsen, uh, the oldest hot spring in Japan, uh, Awa Odori Dance Festival in Takushima, and beautiful Ritsuren Park in Takamatsu. Uh, Nayashima, the island for the modern art and architecture lovers, and the Shikoku pilgrimage to 88 sacred places. <clears throat> Chugoku region, western Honshu. The Ch Ch Chugoku region occupies the western end of Honshu, Japan's main island. Its primary tourist destinations include Akayama for its must-see garden, Karaku and Karashika Shiki for its charming historic district of old warehouses. Miyajima for its beautiful Itsukushima Shrine and Iwakuni 
for its unique five-span arched bridge. Hiroshima, world-renowned city of peace. The city's main tourist attraction are Peace Memorial Park, located in the area sandwiched between the Atagawa River and Motoyasugawa River and a bomb dome, the symbol of Hiroshima, the city that advocates peace in the world. Kyushu, a southern island. Southernmost of Japan's four major islands boasts a mild subtropic climate, plenty of sunshine, natural beauty, preserved in many national parks and quasi-national parks. Kyushu stands, abounds in hot springs, including unique sand baths, boasts numerous historic sites with ties of Europe and China, testimony to the island's long flow of international cultural exchange. Such foreign influences are evident in its unique local cuisine. A fusion of various recipes adapted from several countries. Among them, the most popular are different types of savory ramen noodles. Along with the local food, visitors can enjoy a delightful cup of sake, shoshu, with a distinctive flavor and character unique to the region. Again, more information, click there. Okinawa uh, Island seems a world apart from the rest of Japan with a slower pace of life, tropical climate, white sandy beaches, traditions distinctive to the islands. In recent years, Okinawa also has been recognized as the land of longevity. For more than 450 years, Okinawa, Okinawa sorry, prospered as the kingdom of Ryukyu, a state independent of Japan's central government. Its unique culture, stemming from its relations with foreign countries, left behind distinctive artifacts and festivals that give additional charm to Okinawa. Shuri Castle, the castle of the King of Rukuyu, reconstructed in <laughs> thank you, Naha City, is registered as a World Heritage Site. Okay. National Parks. Japan boasts a number of national parks, which can be grouped into three major categories. National Parks quasi-national parks, and prefectural parks. Uh, there are 32 national parks in Japan designated by the Ministry of the Environment as areas of outstanding beauty. Again, more information, click there. And Japan has 20 locations registered as World Heritage Sites. These consist of 16 cultural heritage sites and four natural heritage sites. Again, more information. Uh, definitely a lot to be seen to our, for our clients. All right. And again, click on these pictures, see the beautiful scenery, the architecture, et cetera. So beautiful. Definitely want to go. It's on my bucket list. Okay. Everybody ready for test two? Picking through these, right? Let me know if everybody's ready. Let me take my pain medicine. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Hakon is one of the most popular tourist resorts in Japan and famous for its onsen, the hot springs, and magnificent view of Mount Fuji. This mountainous area is easily explored by public transportation. True or false? True. True. Nikko is located in the knee of Tokyo and can be recommended as a day or overnight stay from Tokyo. This area is world famous for its scenic beauty and sumptuous Nikko Toshogu Shrine. True or false? True. Which of the following is the commercial center for Kansai? Famous for its local cuisine, attractive downtown areas of Yumida and Dantanabori. Don, Osaka. 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 What is it? Osaka. Osaka. Thank you. Located in Hokkaido, which of the following is a popular destination for a variety of outdoor sports such as skiing, hiking, rafting, and many hot springs? On the last one. Yeah, Osaka. Icicle. Thank you. Icicle. All right, Kaurokion Garden, one of the three most beautiful gardens in Japan, is located where? Kanazawa. Kanazawa. This one? Yeah, second one. This one? Kanazawa. Thank you. Yeah. Okan Okinawa is known for which of the following? The culture, the All climate. the above. All the above. Very good. Again, congratulations, everybody. 
All right, so let's go ahead and close this out. And now we move on to chapter three and we're gonna learn about special interests, okay? Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, we're working on Japan. There's the link there, and we're on the uh, general course now on Chapter 3. All right, so appealing to special interests. Uh, two, um, in, to drop, I will do Chapter 3. Okay, you're welcome. All right, to ensure your clients get the most, and I am recording this, guys, so it will be on my YouTube. To ensure your clients get the most of their vacation in Japan, explore their special interests and assist them in taking part in one or more of the following cultural sports opportunities. You'll be thanked um, for an experience they'll never forget. All right, tea ceremony. Chinoyu, the tea ceremony, is an aesthetic cult much in vogue in Japan. Introduced from China, it was formalized as a ceremony in the 16th century based on the tenets of Zen. When civil war plagued the nation and samurai sought relief in the stylized, stylized, stylized sorry, ritual as a form of disciplinary training for mental composure. Today, many Japanese still practice the tea ceremony as a spiritual balance of today's hectic world. It is also revered for its lessons in elegant manners and etiquette. With many different schools practicing their own style of ceremony, visitors can experience a tea ceremony, which features a special type of powdered green tea at select hotels with tea rooms as many as Japan's famous landscape gardens and at tea ceremony schools. Flower arrangements. Japanese flower arrangements called ikabana or kado is like a painting a picture with flowers. With each blossom, stem, base, and stand chosen with great care, uh, was arranged in perfect grace, harmony, and beauty. Originally related to the tea ceremony as a special but simple way to decorate the tea room, Japanese flower arrangement evolved into different school of, schools of thought, each with its own methods and philosophies. Today, there are more than 20 well-known schools of flower arrangement, some of which open their doors to foreigners. Uh, department stores sometimes have um, Ikebana shows. Okay, so kind of cool to, to share that with your clients. Sumo, okay, traditional Japanese wrestling is one of Japan's most interesting, unique spectator sports. With roots stretching back for centuries, sumo is as much as about ceremony and ritual as it is about performance. Wrestlers dress much as they did during the Edo period with loincloths barely covering their midriffs, big midriffs, and their hair pulled back in top knots. Before matches, they throw salt in the ring to purify it and lift and stamp their feet to chase away evil spirits. Professional sumo tournaments take place six times a year for 15 days each in January, May, September in Tokyo, March in Osaka, and July in Nagoya, and November in Fukuoka. Fuka. Okay, Kabuki, uh, Japan's most popular traditional stage art. Dates back to 17th century. Since then, all kabuki actors have been men, even for female roles. Kabuki is known for its gorgeous costumes, exaggerated makeup, decorated stages, and plays that revolve around universal themes like love and conflicts of loyalty. Uh, kabuki Za Theater in Tokyo offers programs and audio guides in English, making them a great way for your clients to enjoy traditional form of Japanese entertainment. And then Bunraku. A uh, traditional puppet play that originated in the 17th century, like Kabuki, Bunraku, plays center on love, revenge, and other common themes. But what sets Bunraku uh, apart are its puppeteers, who are dressed in black and are right on the stage with their puppets. It takes three puppeteers to manipulate one puppet, which is about two-thirds the size of a human. Although the puppeteers are at first a distraction, it's hard not to watch them in fascination. Puppets are so skillfully maneuvered that they gradually take on their lives of their own, rendering the puppeteers almost invisible. A narrator chants the story with music supplied by Shamisen, a three-stringed uh, Japanese instrument. All right, kind of cool, huh, guys? All right, no... 
Nah, when Kabuki evolved as a lively form of entertainment for the masses, Na appealed to the Jap Japan's aristocrats, including many shogun and samurai. Originating some seven centuries ago, it's the oldest of Japan's theatrical arts. Like Kabuki, all actors are men, but instead of gaining audience attention with great theatrics as in Kabuki, Na actors move with such slow, calculated, restrained movements that they are said to resemble moving statues. Na actors uh, wear elaborate masks, costumes, while the stage is simply decorated, relying on symbolism uh, rather than props to convey a message. Festivals. There's a festival of some sort going on in Japan almost every day of the year. If you can fit one into your client's itinerary, they'll experience a cultural event unique to Japan. Since most festivals are tied to historic events, the indigenous Shinto religion or Buddhism, and may also feature processions, native costumes, booth selling food and souvenirs linked here are some of Japan's major festivals. Keep in mind that some are so popular that both accommodation and transportations must be booked well in advance. So keep that in mind. Again, you can click that to keep in your finder. Uh, pop culture, Japan is the unofficial king of pop culture. Godzilla was probably Japan's first ambassador of pop culture to the rest of the world, unleashed in a move, monster movie more than 60 years ago, and copied many times over in subsequent films. In more recent times, Pokemon, which was created by Nintendo in 1996 for its handheld video game device, Game Boy, spread to the rest of the world in the forms of television series and trading cards, for destinations uh, relating to Japan's Japanese pulp culture, Pokemon fans will want to visit the Pokemon Center stores in major cities throughout Japan for their huge inventories of Pokemon-related gifts and souvenirs. Hello Kitty fans flock to Sanrio Pureland uh, theme park 30 minutes by train from Tokyo's Shinjuku Station. And then you have in Mitaka, 20 minutes from train, um, by train from Tokyo's Shinjuku Station. Uh, there, the Ghibli Museum, which displays related, uh, relating to the history of animation, mock-ups of an animator's studio, movies, and sets relating to films released by Studio Ghibli, including Spirited Away, uh, um, Akihabara, uh, the mecca for Japanese pop culture lovers is famous for its numbers of electric and electronic stores. Uh, they deal in all kinds of appliances, computers, smartphones, tablets, cameras, and the like at discount prices. There are many animation shops too. Again, more information, click that if you want to help sell to your customers with kids and stuff. They'd like that, right? All right, in the museums, many outstanding museums in Japan, easily accessible to visitors, covering such things as national treasures, Japanese swords, origami, ramen noodles, Japanese gardens, and more. Museums designed by famous architects are among the most uh, the popular destinations too. <clears throat> Sports. So you have skiing, mountains, and long seashore are Japan's most visible features. Mountains in the central highlands and northern regions are blanketed with deep snow during the winter season, making Japan's skiing grounds among the world's best. Hundreds of ski areas in Japan. How about camping? Japanese love the outdoor life. Camping has always been popular among the younger set and those young at heart. There are currently more than 3,000 campsites scattered all over Japan, mostly owned and managed by public organizations. Beware that during summer holidays, especially between July 20th and August 15th, most of the campsites in scenic places are besieged by student campers. Other outdoor activities, the country's mainland, as well as smaller islands scattered throughout the archipelago, make Japan a great place for scuba diving from the spectacular ice flows in the Sea of Okhotsk to the south of the tropical waters of Okinawa. There is something for everyone. When the snow melts, Japan's rivers gush down the mountains and through the valleys. This is perfect time for clients to jump in a raft or kayak and negotiate the white water. There are excellent rock climbing areas located throughout the country. Some 250,000 people climb Mount Fuji, 12,300 feet high each year. There are also endless, unforgettable hiking opportunities around Japan, particularly in the country's national parks and mountainous regions. 
Shopping in Japan is a cornucopia of unexpected treasures, from traditional crafts to high-tech wizardry. Every region has its own handicrafts made with techniques passed down from generation to generation. Among the most popular items are pearls, watches, clocks, electronic, bamboo ware, um, lacquer ware, and pottery. Dolls, folding fans used in Japanese dance, kimonos, and obi with elaborate dyeing, embroidery, and weaving techniques. Loisani and damascene, silk uh, goods, and woodblock prints. For your clients, the must-go shopping place is 100 yen shops. Uh, they offer wide range of items from foods to articles for daily use, all sold at a uniform price of 100 yen. 100 yen shops can be found near train stations and in shopping districts. Your clients may find small souvenirs there, such as Japanese tableware and many other items. That must be like our dollar stores, right? <laughs> All right, your clients may also be eligible for tax exemption with the purchase of more than 5,000 yen worth of general items, electronics, handbags, etc., or consumable items, foods, cosmetics, from the same store on a single day if they are temporary, temporary international visitors staying in Japan for less than six months. Prices of general and consumable items cannot be combined to become eligible for the exemption, however. All right, who's ready to eat? Many of your clients may be well-versed in sushi, lingo, and other styles of Japanese cooking that have gained a foothold the world over, including sukiyaki and tempura. Uh, but few first-time visitors to Japan are prepared for the sheer variety of Japanese cuisine. It's not just what Japanese eat that's important. It's how the meal is presented, the way it's arranged on the plate. Since food should appeal to the eye as well as the palate, venues too win high marks in dining experience. Whether it's a thatched roof, former farmhouse specializing in mountain edibles, or a high-tech Tokyo sushi bar with stunning views of the city, <clears throat> from the heights of Jap uh, Chinese culinary delights to the peaks of French hot cuisine. Japan, uh, Japan's premier restaurants are second to none. Most are located in the best hotels or in fashionable city districts. More affordable restaurants abound in downtown office buildings, the dining floors of department stores, urban shopping centers, and underground malls of the busiest railway stations. For people in a hurry, noodle stands, coffee shops, depashika, or basement of department stores, uh, fast food outlets and vending machines provide a variety of food and drink at very low cost. There is no tipping at restaurants and bars in Japan. In fact, tipping is not customary in any situation throughout the country. Visiting Japan also gives your clients an opportunity to taste Jap Japanese sake. Brewed with ri rice and water, sake has been a Japanese alcoholic beverage more ancient times. Uh, Japanese sake can be served cold or warm, and it can be paired with any type of cuisine. All right, nightlife in Japan ranges from top-class hotel lounges to nightclubs pulsating with the latest sounds and packed with young revelers. Especially in big cities, numerous bars, pubs, and karaoke bars line the downtown areas, glittering with colorful neon signs. It should be noted that Japan is very safe. Um day and night. All right. And ready for the exam. All right. Photo credits for Japan specialist course. You have all these people that took pictures for them. Let's take our exam. The tea ceremony has been aesthetic a ceremony since 16th century. Tourists can experience at hotels, tea rooms, some famous landscape gardens, and schools. That is true. True. Sumo, unique traditional Japanese wrestling tournaments, take place six times a year for 15 days. That was true, right? Yes. Sometimes they try to trick us on those. <laughs> Which is the most popular traditional stage art where the actors have traditionally been men, even for female roles? Is that Kabuki? Mm -hmm. Or I think it was this one, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Stage show. <clears throat> All right. Which of the following are among the sporting activities available in Japan? All the above. All the above. Which of the following museums ex exist in Japan? You have the gardens and noodles and architecture. I think all of them, right? 
Which of the following is an inexpensive attraction shopping place for wide range where everything is a sold? That was the dollar store, right? <laughs> <laughs> What's the average tipping? None, oh. right? Very oh. good. Oh. All right. You got your certificate now. Now we get to do our master course. So congratulations, you guys have earned your certificate. So yay, yay, yay. Let's do our master course and then we'll go back to the other one. All right, so yay, you got your certificate. Make sure you post it. And now let's do our master course. Boom, boom. Okay, let's watch this video. I don't see the most master course. Where is it at? It should be the fourth course. It should be right underneath the third course. started. So as you learned in the last three chapters, Japan offers a wide range of destinations, diversions that are appealing to both novice and seasoned travelers, whatever your client's special interest, history, cuisine, ancient or contemporary architecture, nature, shopping, unique uh, cultural pursuits, Japan has it all. With so much to do um, and see, clients need you to help map out the best Japan vacation options suited just for them. First, Profile each member of your group traveling in as much detail as possible, their special interests, wants and needs, preferred style, grade, and mode of travel. This chapter will assist you to build a vacation that will show them the value of your services as a travel consultant and provide them with a satisfaction level that will ensure they come back to you for all future bookings. Throughout, you will find sample special interest markets with highlighted experiences, sample itineraries des des designed to serve these markets. You also find transportation information, maps, hotel, tour operator listings, and other resources, which will assist you in the cold consult consultation process all right family vacations so focus on families exciting inspiring educational experiences for each member of the group whether it's an extraordinary zoos and aquariums the most techno technologically advanced theme parks in the world inspiring unique nature and award-winning educational interactive museums or just experiencing the home of nintendo hello kitty and the samurai Throughout Japan, there are activities and adventures for the whole family to enjoy, world-class family hotels to return to the um, at the end of the day. Tokyo, so they have theme parks, Disneyland. Tokyo Disneyland opened in 1983 as the first Disney theme park outside of the United States. It's made up of seven themed lands. You have Disney Sea, inspired by the myths and legends of the sea. Disney Sea is the world's only marine-themed Disney park made up of seven themed ports of call. Universal Studios Japan, Osaka, eight themed uh, areas visitors can enjoy many amusement rides ranging from child-friendly carousels to thrilling roller coasters and simulators based on popular movies such as Harry Potter, Spider-Man, Terminator 2, and Jurassic Park. Among the attractions for young children in Universal Wonderland is Sesame Street Fun World. And Fuji-Q uh, Highland, Yamanashi, boasting some of the world's wildest roller coasters. You have Sanrio Pureland, Tokyo, the home of beloved Hello Kitty and her color, many colorful friends. Ido Wonderland, Nico, the historical theme park that allows visitors to experience life in the Ido period, 1603 to 1868. 
children can dress up as and learn more about geisha, geisha, geisha royalty, samurai, and ninja. Uh, Toy Kyoto Studio Park, the only theme park in Japan where you can observe the filling of samurai movies. All right, zoos and aquariums. Okinawa Chirami, Chiramu, um, the Aquarium, one of the largest in the world, boasting whale sharks, dolphins, and more. Osaka Aquarium Kaiyukan, another spectacular uh, aquarium introducing various forms of sea life inhabiting the Pacific Rim. Asahima Zoo, Hokkaido, Japan's number one zoo, featuring 700 animals from approximately 124 species. Tama Zoological Park, Tokyo, just an hour west of central Tokyo, with large realistic habitats that are home to big cats, orangutans, and more. And then Adventure World, Wakayama, home to pandas, safari animals, and a host of others. The museums, Edo Tokyo Museum, painstakingly perfect recreation of life in a feudal Japan. National Museum of Nature and Science, Tokyo, full of interactive exhibits and hallmark of any great museum, dinosaurs. Moroccan, the National Museum of Emerging Science and Innovation, Tokyo, a science museum focusing on Japan's cutting edge science and technology, including the robot. Ghibli Museum, Mitaka, Tokyo, celebrating the incredible work of the animators behind Spirited Away. And Shin Yokohama, Ramen museum yokohama the world's first food themed amusement park okay <laughs> museums a uh, ninja museum in agaru um yeah highlights include a tour of a typical ninja house it may look like a simple farm dwelling but it holds surprises such as escape routes hidden doors traps and trickery railway museum satama preserving both the physical elements and heritage of railways in japan and abroad and Kyoto uh, International Manga Museum, learn about manga's uh, history, social significance, and the process that goes into creating these comic books and graphic novels. Family sale trips, sales tips, uh, work with a tour operator specializing in family niche sales. They have done this research for you, developing vacations to Japan and elements that appeal to all group, all age groups. Qualify all family members' preference, determine their ages, special interests, expectations, and budget, and then determine preferred accommodation type amenities required and preferred mode of transportation. Pop quiz! Jim and Arlene are well-traveled and are considered Japan for their next vacation, but would like to bring their two children, 8 and 10, and are not sure there will be enough to keep them entertained. Which of the following are appropriate responses for you to give them? Click on the correct responses below. Few destinations offer more experiences for everything. It would be best for you to leave the children. I can send you detailed wide range. There are some extraordinary, I'd probably say this one, right? Click on the correct response. Okay. Incorrect. Okay. Few destinations. It would be best for you. What the heck? I think it's all of them. Leave your children at home. <laughs> well, besides that one, I mean, like the two. <laughs> no, I said top one on the left. You uh, destinations or it's the top one on the left. All right, I'll try that. It's wrong. Incorrect. So is it the two? I think it's one in Mine three. Said destinations correct. are within Japan, and I can send you details. So it's, I guess, the two. So it was the two, it was the one that don't leave them at home. So yeah. All right, you guys got it? All right, the journey from Tokyo, Hakone, Mount Fuji, and on to Kyoto, Nara, and Osaka is well-traveled and known as Japan's golden route. By making a detour off this route, uh, your repeat visitors to Japan and more adventurous clients can enjoy enriching cultural experience and see unique parts of Japan. That looks like fun. <clears throat> Tohoku region. Um, northern part of Japan's Honshu Island is home to hidden regional gems, peaceful rustic scenery, unique cultural heritage and traditions, spectacular festivals, savory local cuisines, beautiful pristine nature. It's home to the tiny pine-covered islets of Montashima Bay and Lake Tawada. 
a huge crater lake renowned for its bright blue color and surrounding forests. Due to its mountainous terrain, Tohoku is also known for its world famous ski resorts. Tohoku's biggest city is Sendai, site of the Hosaka Hashimango Shinto Shrine and ornate Zuhoden, the tomb of the feudal Lord Date Masamu. Cherry Blossom Viewing. Another advantage to travel in this region is its extended opportunities for cherry blossom viewing. People tend to think cherry blossom viewing in Japan is only possible at the end of March or in the very beginning of April. In northern Japan, however, travelers can enjoy cherry blossom viewing even in the late spring, generally considered as off-season elsewhere. Famous cherry blossom viewing sites here, Hirosaki, Arimo, and Kakunanda Ikeda. More information here if you need it. All right, Genki region. Um, Isashima, located about two hours from Nagoya by train or car, was proud to showcase its wealth of natural cultural attractions to the diplomats attending the G7 summit meeting here in May of 2016. Covering the entire Shima Hanto Peninsula, the Isashima National Park has a breathtaking panoramic view of Ago Bay and is noted as the home of the most sacred Japanese Shinto shrine, Issei Jingu. The peninsula's rugged coastline is perfect for the pearl cultivation industry, and Ago Bay is famous as the world's premier located location of cultural uh, pearls. Famous Mimimoto Pearls are found here. Visitors can enjoy the view of traditional techniques performed by Ama, um, uh, the female divers, who harvest these pearls along with oysters, shellfish, and more. Cuisine featuring fresh seafood, including is the lobsters, abalones, oysters, is another highlight of visits here. Again, more information there. <clears throat> uh, uh, Kumano Koto. For over a thousand years, people from all levels of society, including retired emperors and aristocrats, have made the undoous pilgrimage to Kumano. These pilgrims used a network of routes, now called the Kumano Koto, which stretched across the mountainous Ki, Ki Peninsula in July 2004. The Kumano Koto pilgrimage routes were registered as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Pretty cool. <clears throat> Koyasana, um, uh, Koyasan, um, home to active monastic, monastic center founded 12 centuries ago, situated on a small plain on the top of Mount Koya, is a sacred area known as Danjo Garan, a complex of temples, halls, pagodas, and Buddhist statuary. Stet Visitors here are welcome to stay at the Shakabu. Shakabo Temple Lodges, where they will enjoy Shajin Ryoye, the vegetarian cuisine developed over um, many centuries by Buddhist monks, transferring the local ingredients found near the temples. With its beautiful natural landscape, the mix of mountains and sea, crystal clean rivers, rich history and religious significance, not to mention its abundance of delicious seafood and vegetarian specialties, the Kinki region represents traditional Japan at its best. Again, you can print these, click on these for, for future reference. And then Satuchi region, uh, the Seto Inland Sea. Satoti is considered Japan's most scenic waterway, a vast emerald sea dotted with some 3,000 islands and islets. Much of it lies protected within the Inland Sea National Park, which stretches from western Honshu to Shikoku. The Sito Island Sea lies between three of four main islands of Japan, Honshu, Shikoku, and Kyushu. All right, <clears throat> Shimama Kalu. Tell your adventurous clients not to miss this extraordinary way to explore the park by bike. Visitors can cycle all the way from Honshu to Shikaku, thanks to the Shimamanami Kalu. Um, a series of seven bridges that connect six islands. That's kind of cool. Um, on its journey from Hiroshima to Hajime prefectures, rental bikes are available at both ends of the route. Nayashima, a small island situated in the Sito Inland Sea. Nayashima is an island of art, blessed with nature and noted by Kanda Nast Traveler as one of the seven places in the world you should see next. Most fascinating with its surreal um, in island in is Benese Art Site Nayashima, 
a unique space setting, contemporary art and architecture against spectacular natural surroundings. Serving overnight guests in the Vanessa House designed by Tadayo Ando, which incorporates a museum and a hotel. Nayashima is not the only art themed island in the area. Numerous small islands surrounding Nayashima offers contemporary art sites and projects. Art lovers from all over the world can also enjoy island hopping to witness the Satoshi Trianali, the International Art Festival that's held every three years. Again, more information on that is located there. Hiroshima, Tranquil City that unwillingly gained a place in modern history. Hiroshima is best known by the visitors today for its two World Heritage Sites, the A-Bomb Dome of the Hiroshima Peace Memorial and the um, and on nearby Mirajima Island, the Tsukushima Shrine, revered for a thousand years and the only shrine in the world with uh, which has a Tori Gate in the middle of the sea. Uh, Shikoku, relatively small island, Shikoku is packed with tourism attractions, including 88 pilgrimage sites for spiritual quests, soothing hot springs to relive, uh, relieve tired muscles after a long day of walking, and the Isamu Noguchi Garden Museum. To appreciate the modern sculptures by this world-renowned artist, visitors can also take in breathtaking views of the inland sea while savoring Japan's best udon noodles, and even enjoy the noodle making experience in themselves. Uh, pop quiz. All right, Susan and Bob and their adult children, David and Jean, are nature lovers, love to take the off beaten path adventures, and have come for you for advice on their next vacation. Which of the following are among the appropriate responses you can give them? Click on all correct. If you like biking, there is extraordinary thing actually here. I can arrange a tour of the Tokyo downtown city, computer town, and fascinating areas to explore. Uh, most sacred Japanese and Japan is famous for you might consider trip. Should we say all of them? What do you guys think? I say all of them. Uh, uh don't don't do all. I just did all, and it was incorrect. All right. I um, like the biking. Um, the national parks with breathtaking, does that sounds good, right? I mean, there's to explore. Um, I'm not sure about just that cherry, wait a minute, that arrange a tour. Um, it's, it's, um, it's everything, but I can arrange a tour for you in Tokyo's downtown areas. It's not yeah. that one. That so it's, it's the first. Yeah. Top, um, the top one, the and, and the, the bottom far. right. So it's the bot. It's the both on the far two on the far right, and then the one top one on the uh, top left uh, on the left. All right. So the two top ones and the bottom right, right? The two, yes, correct. Yeah, for some reason, I'm clicking on though, but I must have clicked them right wrong. Right. You have to, um, one thing I've noticed about, um, because I had got the last pop quiz, um, incorrect, it was because, like, they when you, um, it's the how they have the lighting around the, um, the question, you can barely see, you have to kind of like click on it, it's like a light, light blue, yeah, but it was so that's the reason why, but, um, you probably had an extra one clicked, okay, all right, well, because I got mine's correct, that's why. Yeah, let me just see if I can go back to it. Probably not. Nope. All right. Well, hopefully. I had to go back, but no, I couldn't do it. Okay. Well, let us move forward. So <laughs> I guess I'm not doing good on my pop quizzes today. All right. So, sports, adventure, snowboarding, snorkeling, hiking, uh, whatever your client's outdoor pleasure, Japan has to provide it. Provide it. Um, hit up the slopes in Nagano, home of the 1998 Winter Olympics. Explore the beautiful oceans and beaches in Okinawa. Or you can find some serious waves just an hour outside of Tokyo. Even traverse through the amazing underwater ruins in the Ryuku Archipelago. For all your active travelers out there, Japan is the perfect place to get your adrenaline going. So again, here you go for hiking and climbing. They can visit all these places, skiing and snowboarding, rafting and water sports. So tons of activities for your clients. And again, I think you can click on each of these to get more info. Oh, 
another pop quiz. Yay. Susan, Bill, and D Peter, and David, friends who love to travel internationally on an active adventure vacations. Love to ski and snowboard in the winter and dive in the summer months. Which of the following are among the appropriate recommendations and give? It's also perfect for your next diving. I know you're always looking for unique experience. Have you heard about the amazing underwater ruins? So hot spot for diving along with water sports. I can send you all the details. Remember, Nagana was the site of the Winter Olympics. I can give you information on several topics of skiing and snowboarding. And there are some amazing museums and aquariums. So I'd probably say this one and this one. Yes. Okay. Submit those two. Yay! Finally got one <laughs> right. Which one? Which one is it? It's the top two. The top two? It's, yeah, it's not the uh, aquarium. All right. Fun for foodies. One of the major attractions of traveling throughout Japan is trying different local cuisine in every town you visit. While sushi is, in fact, part of Japanese heritage and a myriad of um, flavors from all around the world have contributed to Japan's robust foodie culture, attracting more and more culinary figures worldwide to try this new eastern hotspot. It should therefore come as no surprise that Tokyo is ranked as the number one food city by Food and Wine magazine, not to mention the fact that Tokyo has more stars in the prestigious Michelin guidebook than any other city in the world. From noodles to sashimi to gourmet French cuisine, Japan has the food to satisfy the most discerning of palates, as well as the strictest of budget. Most people, uh, sample experiences, so you have these options up here. Um, most people associate sake as the um, liquor of Japan, but the less known uh, shoshu uh, may be another delightful discovery for sake connoisseurs visiting Japan. Sake is brewed beverage made from rice that, like beer, has been fermented and aged. Shoshu is a distilled beverage, making it akin to whiskey or vodka. Just like wineries, each sake or shoshu um, brewery produces an original variety with distinctive flavor and character unique for each region. From the country's freshest sashimi at Tokyo's Tsukashi Fish Market to hearty octopus-filled dumplings at an Osaka street side stall to warming winter crab stew and cherry blossom-flavored ice cream. That sounds good. There are always more regional seasonal specialties to savor. Japanese cuisine or washoku is a UNESCO intangible cultural heritage list. Luxury travel, according to 2016 Virtuoso Lux uh, report, the top travel motivators for these clients are exploring new destinations, seeking authentic experiences, rest and relaxation, personal enrichment, spending time with or reconnecting with loved ones. Few destinations fulfill these luxury travel requirements as well as Japan. The following are just a few examples of the experiences which may be found in Japan that match the needs of today's luxury travelers. Luxury sleeper train excursions. How cool is that? Look at that. Consider arranging a luxury sleeper train excursion, which allow these clients to find personal enrichment by exploring some of Japan's off the beaten path wonders with ease and luxurious comfort. Click here to view and download information about three exceptional luxury sleeper train options. That's beautiful. That'd be so cool. Look at that. Look at these pictures. I know. This is a train. Amazing, huh? Dining car. That Wow, look at that. That's that looks train. really lovely. That is so nice. <laughs> These look like a hotel. They're I know. Exquisite. That's nice. Well, I like that. Okay, let's get a fam trip and go. <laughs> right? <laughs> wow. Yeah, I would say this is definitely luxury. How cool is that? All right, so thinking of seeking authentic experiences, Ryokan stay. Don't forget about the accommodations can be an important part of the authentic experiences craved by luxury travelers. For an example, a stay at the luxury Ryokan uh, may be featured in areas such as Kyoto, Hakon, and Izu. Ryokan is not just an accommodation option, it's a destination where your clients can experience the traditional Japanese lifestyle and cuisine found nowhere else outside Japan. Historically, Ryokan was known as a health resort with hot springs and so many locals, uh, and so many are located in hot spring towns and rural areas. For more information on Ryokan, 
providing rooms with open air baths. Click here and here. So again, more information for you guys. Dinner with Myco Entertainment. Dinners may be arranged where guests will be entertained by and interact with me, my Michael, um, apprentice Geisha, Geisha, the traditional um, entertainment may include songs, dances, and playing of the shamisen or the koto, traditional Japanese instruments. All right. Next, rest and relaxation with loved ones. Well, beach resorts are not the first thing that comes to mind when considering vacations in Japan. Clients visiting the country during the summer months should consider adding some R&R &R at one of the beach resort areas as part of the experience here. Surrounded by oceans, Japan has extensive coastline with lots of beaches, just one of many areas that could be highlighted for clients with this interest in Japan in Okinawa. The region includes about 160 islands stretched over 620 miles of ocean and boasts a longer beach season and longer lifespan for its inhabitants. The people of Okinawa are renowned for their longevity. Its subtropical climate results in average annual temperatures of 74 degrees. Visitors here will find luxurious accommodations and unique culture and cuisine, combining influences from Japan, China, and other East and Southeast Asia countries. Among the beaches to highlight here are um, that beach, okay, Miyagi <laughs> Island, Kondoi Beach, and, and all these other ones are available, okay? So again, um, you know, take a picture or click there and you can find all those amazing beaches. Okay, another pop quiz. Uh, Janet and Bit Bill are luxury travelers, love authentic cultural experiences, including sampling the cuisines and new destinations. They come to you for recommendations on their next vacation. Which of the following are among the appropriate responses you can give them? Click on the correct um, response. So uh, luxury and cultural sampling of new cuisines. I can arrange a hiking tour for Mount Fuji. I uh, want to consider incorporating a stay at the luxury where you can experience, I would say it's this one. Um, one of the major attractions of traveling to is trying different cuisines. Every town, in fact, it did Japanese cuisine, UNESCO, Intangible Cultural Heritage, Tokyo is around, maybe that one. So B, C, D. <laughs> yeah, I can arrange for you to explore off beaten path. I'll send you the details. Let's try it. Correct. All of them except the first one. Yay! All right, more planning resources. Again, you can click on any of these. You need accommodations, transportation, guide services, suggested itineraries. Let's pull that up and see what it looks like. No, it, it's not the top left one. Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. <laughs> they had it in Japanese. All right, so they give you samples of itineraries and stuff, guys. So um, again, uh, save that. All right, and then of course I... Whenever I click out of it, I end up losing it. Okay, continue. One. Okay, where am I now? I got it here. Two. Do I have it up in my other one? Three. Uh, oh my gosh. All right, let me go through. All right, guys, so uh, let me see if we're toward the end. Okay, submit, okay. Da, 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 da. What was the answer to that one? That was the first and third. It wasn't leave your kids at home. Okay. Okay, this is why I hate getting, you know, popping into those other things that always takes me out. All right, and this one was that one was a C A uh, A B D. That was not the tour. It wasn't. Yeah, why aren't your stone highlight yeah. there? Yeah, you yours on. You yeah. have you didn't have the bottom one highlighted. Oh. That's why. Yeah, I didn't think I clicked that one. Anyway, no biggie. Anyway. All right, Up, please. another one. 
this is not the aquarium. Okay, are we on on now taking the master exam? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. I'm just trying to get back to it because I clicked out to show you guys the itineraries and it kicked me out. All right. Here we go. And it's here, here, and here, right? No. Yeah. Wait, you got the luxury. It you wasn't the hiking, to... right? Not they wait. It see. was B C and B yeah. C No. You yeah. gotta make sure they're blue around it and it's for some reason. That one was B. Yeah. There you go. There you go. All right. Let's take the exam. Which of the following are among the key markets for travel to Japan? Families, adventures, sports, game, casino. I don't think casino. I don't think I saw casino, but I do know the families, luxury, foodies. Yeah. Everybody agree? Yes. Which of the following are just yes. a few of the many experiences for families to enjoy? They have the Disney resorts, Edo friendly dress up. Yes. Atlantis themed water park. I didn't see that. No. And then they had that food amusement park. Yes. So all but the Atlantis. Which of the following are few among the experiences may enjoy off the beaten path. Unique cultural, spectacular beauty, cherry blossom. Is it all of them? Do they have, I, I thought they, didn't they have high-end shopping in Tokyo? I don't remember, but I do, they had shopping. But I, I don't know it if it was the dollar store. store. <laughs> yeah, I know they talked about the dollar store. I didn't hear about the high end. But... Right. But I don't know the Ginza neighborhood. I don't remember that name. Christopher, do they have? Are you there? Right. Yeah, not yeah, they... I'm here. Do you, have high... do you remember that neighborhood? Um, Which neighborhood? Um... The high end shopping. Is that off the high end shopping in, in Ginza? Yeah, I don't think that's off the beaten path. I yeah. think that was at this question we got earlier. Yeah. Okay. I'm so leave please. that off. Okay. All right. Which of the following are among the top sports experiences in Japan that you can match with your special? So they have. I don't remember Haggis hurling. No. Skiing, diving, rafting. I think hike. Yeah, hiking. Yeah. Tokyo has more stars in the prestigious, prestigious Michelin guidebook than any other city in the world. I, thought I think that's true. They had 20, right? Or no, yeah. that's the, is that it? We'll try Yes. It. Shoshu is cuisine only found distilled beverage, or I think it's that distilled beverage. Yeah. Distilled beverage. Which of the following is a top beach resort area? Hot spot for divers, including 160 islands and boasting a longer beach. Too cool. What is it? Mm. Akanawa or Kado? Imanda Mighty Kaido. Kaido, thank you. Which of the following is a region noted not only for its pristine nature and unique cultural heritage, but also for its world famous ski resorts, extended opportunities for cherry blossom viewings? Oh, that was the one that had that extended in what area? I think it's uh, Tohoku. I think it's the last one. Oh, no. I think it's Tohoku. Okay, let's try that. Which of the following regions may visitors enjoy, among many other things, breathtaking panoramic view of Ago Bay, a visit to the most sacred Japanese shrine, as Sujinju, and traditional Inky. techniques for pearl harvesting? What is it, Inky? Yes. Okay. And last oh. one, in which of the following regions may visitors experience a World Heritage Site in Hiroshima? Pilgrimage sites and hot springs, views of what considered Japan's most scenic waterway, island hop by bicycle, and island of art, blessed by nature, and noted by Kanganes so. as one of the seven places in the world you should see. I think it's the first one. What do you guys think? Oh, I think it's one of the last two. I thought it's the okay, last it's, one. I think it's Netochi. Yeah. Netochi? Yeah, the last. 
I think. Well, I think it's the middle one because they told she was the. Itochi is the uh, region near the near the south. That's kind of close to the um, Pinky region uh, with the monastery. You are. I think you're right too. I think you're right. Let's try it. Yes. All right. We missed one, but that's we all passed. Did everybody pass? Yes. Yep. Yes. Yes. Yay! All right. Let's see which one we missed. Next. 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 Uh, was Okinawa. Oh, uh, sorry. No worries. That's okay. Well, that was my next guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, at least we passed. So again, congratulations, everybody. Um, we're going to go ahead and end for today. Um, I will put this back on the schedule so we can do the master one. Um, let's go back to it. So again, guys, you have got um, earned your certificates. Okay, so you can go here to certificates. And then go down to Japan, and it should be in here right here, general course and master, okay? So you should be able to view your certificate and post it, let people know that you are now a Japan specialist. And then- um, Can you go back and do that again? Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just, it's, it's just under your, um, if you, when you click out, it should take you here to your dashboard. And then right here under certificates, I think also if you go here under your name, I think maybe under account, it'll pull up, you should pull up there also or under your name. Um, okay, thank you. You're welcome. But yeah, under certificates, and then you just uh, pull it up and then view certificate. And so as you see, we've done a lot of them in the past. Um, so again, uh, next week we are actually doing Orlando. So I'm gonna add this second course on um, for the week after, okay guys? So we're gonna do the master's course. Let's just take a quick look at it to see how long that one is. Just cause I, I'm meeting um, my son for lunch. Just say, is it the same one? Or is it different? Let's look. Do you guys have both of these on there? I'm just seeing it. Looks like it's possibly the same thing, right? Yes, we just took the master's course with the I general course. The so same. we have them both. Okay. So we're we're good then, right? So we don't oh, so we're done with Japan then? Yes. It looks like okay. everybody good? Yay! Yes. Yeah. All right, so uh, uh, I'll be sending out the calendar for um, for March, so you guys can see that. Next week, we're doing Orlando. Um, we are still working on Oceana Cruise Lines. Uh, we're doing part two tomorrow, if you guys want to join us for that. And hopefully on the 24th, on Saturday, we're finishing up. Um, thank you, Tracy. We're finishing up the... Um, Apple Leisure Group, which we just have Europe to do. So again, um, all these are posted here, okay, on my calendar. Um, again, congratulations, everybody. Make sure you post your certificates, letting people know, look what I got, okay, I'm excited. Um, definitely bucket list, right? Share some of the pictures there. Um, and, you know, let's have some fun. Uh, just got a nine night Morocco fam trip on my email. So again, the more you do these trainings, the more um, invites you guys are going to get. So always continue and, and continue to learn. Um, and again, I do have all these recorded if you need to catch up. We're also doing Marriott um, 2024. We just did Disney, the assessment, if you need to catch up on that. Um, definitely guys just stay plugged in, always have fun, always keep learning. And as I always say, you're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. So again, we appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, again, thank you so much, um, for helping and, and with the pronunciation and, and sharing your guys' wisdom. So thank you, Christopher and everybody. Um, again, it's a team effort, right? We are we movement. Uh, we're all family and we're here to help each other. So stay you know, plugged in. And um, again, congratulations. And uh, we will see you hopefully tomorrow for Oceana.
Okay. I'm also doing a voucher yeah. training tonight. I don't know if you guys um, want to join me for my voucher training. What um, time is that, Marnie? Actually, yes, I would love that. It's 5 p.m. <laughs> Pacific time. So uh, same. Is it the uh, same Zoom? Same Zoom, my Zoom. Okay. Correct. So yeah, we're doing it today. So I'll post it again as a reminder in here under the voucher group. Um, so I'll go post that. Um, but yeah, 5 p.m. today, we're going to learn how these vouchers are to be used. Again, I always tell everybody, make sure you check with your um, with your gold or platinum because a lot of agents have their um, own. And I want to make sure that, you know, you guys check with them first. And if not, then you guys can um, use mine. Okay. Um, they're just good ways to help promote your business and stuff like my page, book with me, et cetera. We'll go through that today. Okay. 5 p.m. today. Hopefully we'll see you there. Okay. Otherwise, what we say is if we don't see you at the beaches of the world, we'll see you at the bank. Hope you guys have an amazing day and hopefully we'll see you tonight at five. Thank you. Thanks, Marina. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.